Today we read in the uh, gospel a story of forgiveness. And I think this particular story told by Jesus Christ, this parable, explains better than any other parable what the Lord's Prayer means when we say, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. You know, we say the Lord's Prayer all the time. Sometimes my mouth and my head and my heart are all disconnected. And I'm not paying any attention to what I'm saying. But when we say in the Lord's Prayer, we, we cry unto the Father, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. We are asking God the Father, forgive me the same way I forgive other people. Forgive me the same way I forgive other people. But do I forgive other people? Do I have forgiveness in my heart toward other people? I think each and every one of us struggles to forgive the other person from time to time, maybe every day. This parable, a servant owed his master a huge sum of money that he could not pay, and the, the master rendered judgment. You will pay, and if you do not pay, you will go to prison, and your wife and your children, and anything that you have will be taken away from you. He rendered the judgment and it was a just judgment because of what the man owed and because what he could not pay. But the man begged him. He begged his Lord, have patience with me and I will, I will pay you everything. And his master had compassion on him. And, and St. Nikolai in his commentary says that the master gave the servant a twofold freedom. He did not simply forgive his debt, but it says that he loosed him and he forgave him. And what it means when, when it says that he loosed him is that he freed him from his slavery. He freed him from his slavery and he freed him from his debt. He gave him a twofold freedom. What king, what world leader, what national leader do we know who would be this gracious and this merciful to one of his subjects? But our Lord Jesus Christ is this kind of a master. And so what did this man do who had been released from his slavery and who had been forgiven such a great debt. He went and found a man who owed him not even close, I mean just a little bit of what he had owed his master and he grabbed him by the throat and choked him to make him pay the debt. And when his servants saw this, they ran to the master and they told on him. <laughs> they told the master what he had done. And the master was not kind. He cast him into prison until he paid all the debt. St. Nikolai says, this is how the servant creditor behaved toward his servant debtor. And this is how a man behaves to another man. And such behavior of a man to a mother, another man turns God's mercy into justice. 
You see, God, God renders justice, but when we ask Him to forgive, He's merciful, and His mercy, His justice turns to mercy. But if we go and we choke the man who owes us, His mercy turns back into justice. What a harsh lesson. I heard someone say once that there is a difference between justice and mercy and grace. He said, justice is when we get what we deserve. Mercy is when we don't get what we deserve. And grace is when we get, when we receive what we don't deserve. The abundant grace of God. Can I say it again? Justice is when we get what we deserve. Mercy, and we cry for it how many times? Countless times in the liturgy. Mercy is when we don't get what we deserve. And grace is when poured out upon us, we receive what we don't even deserve. So let us be careful that we not turn the grace and mercy of God back into His justice by mistreating our fellow man. He said to His Master, be patient and forgive. And the Lord waited and He delayed. Today, we remember St. Moses the Black, called St. Moses the Strong, called St. Moses the Ethiopian. And there's a story about St. Moses when the council of the monks gathered together to judge one of their brothers who had transgressed. And he taught, and, and he came, St. Moses came into the hall where the brother monk was to be judged, carrying a bag of sand on his back. And he had slit the bag so that sand was falling out of the back of the bag. When he came into the room, he said to his brother monks who were about to judge this man, the sands of my sin running down behind me that I can't even see, yet I come into this place to judge my brother. The sand is my sins, which I can't even see, and I come here to judge my brother. That was the end of the trial. They all went away. They got the message from this holy man not to judge another because we have plenty of sins. Father, forgive us our trespasses as we, the same way we forgive others. This gospel ends with this saying, Likewise, my heavenly Father also will do unto you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. Maybe we know what this person in our life deserves. Do we have to give that person what they deserve? Do I want to be given what I deserve from the Heavenly Father on the Judgment Day? No, I want to be shown mercy. And if I want to be shown mercy, then I have to give to that person mercy from my repentant heart. I'm a father. I'm not just a father in the church. 
I have children and I have grandchildren, and I think more often than not, the people we have the hardest time forgiving are the people in our own family that offend us, that embarrass us in some way. The Lord Jesus Christ says to me today as a father, and it says to all of us who are fathers and mothers and brothers and sisters, to wait, to delay, to be patient, to show mercy, and to forgive if we want our Heavenly Father to do the same to us on that great and last day. Glory be to Him forevermore. Amen.